Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Primetime, and you already know, you're on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video, and you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. All right, let's go ahead and jump on into this thing, shall we? So it looks like Devin... The Dream Haney has finally, finally got his opponent. And I am glad to announce that finally, finally, you know, Devin Haney has got the opponent he was looking for. And that's Jojo Diaz. They finally got Jojo Diaz to agree to terms for the WBC lightweight title championship fight. December the 4th in Las Vegas. Man, 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 I cannot be any more happier in the world for these mega fights to end the year out. That's what we need. That's what we're looking for. Um, honestly, I haven't heard or seen too much from Jojo Diaz. Um, I'm hoping he is... Um, built his confidence up hopefully he isn't gun shy or afraid because you know his last loss was to gary russell jr and you know of course gary russell jr was definitely way out of his league i was surprised he even took that fight but um i can see why he was hesitant to take this Devin haney fight you know you don't want too many losses back to back now do jojo diaz have a fighting chance heck yeah Yes, yes he do. He has a fighting chance, period. Any boxer does. Any boxer can land a lucky shot. Um, as you remember, the last fight he fought with Lenares, uh, Devin Haney, he got rocked in the last round. You know, he had to survive, uh, even though he won, <laughs> you know, all 10 rounds before that. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, hey, you know, it is what it is. But um, I definitely see this as being a very, very, very good fight. A very good high-profile fight that Devin Haney needed and deserved as a lightweight champion. Not to be ducked by, you know, like Lomachenko and, and Teofimo Lopez and, and all the other guys that has ducked him. You know, you don't even hear no big stars calling out his name. Now, Shakur Stevenson, would he fight the Devin Haney? Yeah, most likely. But, you know, being on two different uh, platforms, you know, with Shakur Stevenson being over at top rank and Devin Haney kind of being a free agent but having match room in his corner, it kind of makes it hard for fighters to get the fights that they really want, especially when you're dealing with other promoters. And if the promoters don't have relationships with each other, then it makes it twice as hard. So that is mo mainly most of the reason why these fights haven't been made is because these promoters are either they don't see the money in it for them and they see more of a loss or either they see it as, hey, we can't work with that network. That's not a good relationship. We don't we don't mess with them or, or however they want to put it and spin it. But um. I'm definitely happy for Devin Haney to be able to land this type of fight. You know, if you watch any of my videos, I've been campaigning for this guy to get these big fights. Ryan Garcia, Jojo Diaz, um, any other big names out there. So, hey, I'm happy. I'm ecstatic for both of these guys. I know they're going to put on a boxing uh, excitement clinic. And I look for nothing but the best out of these guys. Now, am I choosing who going to win? You already know who I'm going with. I'm going with a champ. But, like I always say, it's two sides to the coin. And Jojo Diaz always has a fighting chance. He can come out and fight better than he fought Gary Russell. He could have fought Gary Russell just to get a bigger fight and take that L. Who knows? It's so many things that go on behind the scene in boxing. Sometimes boxers have to fight less aggressive and less great just to land a greater fight because you know if you fight too good then a lot of times the champions or your opponent see that it's not too much of a way that they can win and they back out they're afraid they're not confident they don't even talk confident so 
You know, I'm just hoping that this right here be one of those fights to end out the year on a mega level. And uh, I'm, I'm happy. I am definitely happy as a fan, as a boxing fan, as a boxing advocate. I am definitely, definitely happy. And uh, with that being said, this is video. Definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV. And I'm on social media everywhere. Definitely go to the website. We got some merch there. Go cop a shirt or a hoodie or something. All right, y'all. Peace.